So let's see if these Bluetooth speakers arrived in one piece. They are in this box right now. I'm going to go ahead and rip it open. This is one of those things I'm going to try to do a longer term test on. So it's the beginning of the week now. And I'm going to go ahead and do the unboxing now. And I'm going to uh, try them out throughout the week. There we go. One side's open. All right, so Amazon actually did an okay job of packing this time. The last couple times I have received a package from Amazon, it's been pretty bad, but this time it's uh, it's okay. It looks like they arrived in one piece, so there you go. Uh, our, I believe it's pronounced Skiva. Uh, 15 watt Bluetooth speakers right here. Uh, we'll take a closer look at the box when we get to the actual overview. I just want to make sure these things arrived in one piece. So I'm going to pop it open again now. We have another box to open. Fun, fun. And... There we go. Happy. Are are you are you happy? Not happy. What? <laughs> what? Oh, okay. This just has a uh, customer service number. That's nice. And I have to say, first impressions. I mean, these things are uh, pretty heavy. I'm I'm surprised at uh, how heavy these are. And they're really in there. There we go. So there's the Bluetooth speaker itself. And here is what looks like a USB to 3.5 millimeter. No, nope, that's that's not correct. You know what? This is one of those uh, USB to 3.5 millimeter uh, audio jack combos. Okay, so it was as I thought. And just gonna go a little bit further, open this up, and then I'll call it for the unboxing. Uh, we have the manual right here. So here's our user manual. Uh, here, look. This looks like a, uh, oh, this is a uh, warranty card. And then here are the actual speakers if I can get them open. And there we go. Here are the actual Skiva Bluetooth speakers. So I'm going to test these out throughout the uh, week and get back to you guys. Hello guys, welcome to another installment of A Computers and Technology. As you can see, today I'm taking a slightly different approach to video editing. I thought since this is a Bluetooth speaker, I would put some of the review to music. Now, I have been testing the speaker out all week, and let me tell you, I've not been disappointed in any way. The dual 7.5 watt drivers live up to the name of this particular beast, which is the AudioFlow Big Sound S1. I bought these off Amazon for 30 US dollars. I was lucky and I got them during a promotion. If you use the code iPhone SE at checkout, you might be able to get 20% off too. Of course, the link to these things will be in the description. I just bought these as a pair of workout speakers. I just expected them to be loud. Didn't really care about sound quality, but let me tell you guys, the sound quality is actually pretty good. I was, I was really surprised, so it's extremely loud. And I'm not gonna say that the sound quality is excellent. It's not exactly at that level. But it is pretty darn good. It is going to be one of those videos, guys. Of course, I just finished recording. I went back to watch the video and I realized there was no audio because I forgot to turn the phantom power supply on. So now there's audio and then I went back and recorded again and everything was out of focus. So... Third time's a charm. Let's do it again and hopefully I can get it right this time. I have the Bluetooth speakers right in front of me. I moved away from that video format and we're about to get down and dirty with the review. I have been using these for the past week and so far I've been 99% satisfied with them. There are two very, very, very small things I do find somewhat annoying with these and I will touch on those in just a couple seconds. So what exactly is your 39 bucks buying you? Well, first off, it's buying you 15 watts of Power, we have two 7.5 watt drivers built into this thing along with a passive subwoofer that actually gives you a decent amount of bass. And I mean shake your desk bass, uh, which I will demonstrate in just a minute. Thank goodness this thing has rubber feet because without them, it would be jumping all over the place. Uh, and even with the rubber feet, it still uh, shakes quite a bit with that uh, passive subwoofer at full volume. This thing puts out a ton of sound. I put this thing all the way across my yard walked over to my house and I could still hear the music uh, you know loud and clear this thing is powerful so I would not recommend turning it all the way up and then listening to it while it's right in front of you because it can be deafening it's it's really loud that's how loud it is 
And on top of being loud, they're also giving you some great sound quality at the same time. Well, playing music back and podcasts back at normal noise levels, I wasn't getting any hissing, any popping, any weird audio distortion. Everything sounded great. There is one small thing that I think some of you guys should be aware of, especially if you're one of those people that, you know, others consider an audiophile. There's a very, very, very small amount of noise being emitted from the speaker when it's just sitting at idle. No matter what volume level you have the uh, Bluetooth speaker set to, there's a very, 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 very small amount of hiss uh, em emitting from the speaker. So if I put it right up to my ear, I can hear it. I can't hear it when I'm listening to music. It's like no, it's no points off for me um, because for me, it doesn't really transfer over to the actual sound uh, when I'm listening to a podcast or listening to music. Uh, but if you're someone who's really sensitive to little audio defects like that, it might bug you. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up about that. And I'll try, I don't know if it's going to come out on the mic. I'll try to hold it right up to the mic. I doubt it's going to come out there, but uh, if it does, there's a little sample for you. Now, I've been talking about audio quality, but how exactly do you play back audio on this device? Well, I said it is a Bluetooth device, and it's also an NFC device, and you can use your good old-fashioned 3.5 millimeter audio cable, a wired connection as well. We'll try this out in just a second. I haven't tried it out, but it should work. I mean, I doubt we're going to run into any issues with that. If we do... Hey, it'll come up during the review. So I'm gonna bring my phone out now and we're gonna go ahead and try to play something on this. So there's a power switch on the back. Uh, there's an option for uh, Bluetooth or NFC or just using the uh, standard 3.5 millimeter audio cable to a OTG USB cable. I'm gonna switch it on to Bluetooth now. We got a nice little confirmation beep from the speakers. I have Bluetooth turned on on my phone. I'm gonna bring up an audio file. And boom, it says easy as that. Now you could crank this thing all the way up and just control the volume from your phone. The better option is to crank your phone all the way up and just control the audio from the built-in controls at the top, which actually feel pretty nice. So there's a plus right here. That's just going to raise the volume, hold that down. It'll start going through its audio levels. Minus is the same story, except that's lowering the audio levels. And then there's a, actually a button right here to uh, uh, hang up and answer phone calls. So I'm going to crank the volume up right now just using that button. You'll hear a uh, series of beeps as the audio volume volume or audio level starts to raise. Now I'm going to stop that song right now because I just realized that you couldn't actually hear that. So here are the beeps. I'm going to lower the volume. There you go. So they're very soft. When you actually have music playing, you're not really going to be able to hear them. And then I'll crank it all the way up. And when it hits the max volume level, you'll get kind of a chime effect right there. There we go. Let me do it one more time. There we go. So it's a, uh, not really chime, but a longer beep to tell you that you have reached the max volume. Now with VLC, that phone button also allows you to stop and start the music. So that's a nice feature, so I'll hit it now. Come on. Ah. There we go. <laughs> And to stop it, just hit the button again. And there we go. Music has stopped. So uh, I didn't realize that until I actually started doing the review. Well, that's, a, that's actually a pretty convenient feature. I wish I knew that earlier. The 3000 milliamp hour battery at 3.7 volts is going to allow you to play back music at 50% volume levels for a total of 8 hours. I cranked it up all the way to listen to my music and podcast while running. And, you know, so far I have like three and a half hours out of it. So uh, at max volume levels, we're probably going to exceed four hours of use out of these speakers. I have not been able to drain them yet. Battery life is definitely towards the top there. Very, very good battery life. So now we're going to check out how using a wired connection works and I'm also going to address the two main issues I have with this portable Bluetooth speaker and they both stem from this area right here. So the first issue is the power switch. It feels really really cheap and I do not think it is going to last the life of these Bluetooth speakers. It's eventually probably going to have to be replaced in my opinion. It doesn't feel good at all. Um, yeah, so I think this is probably the first thing that's going to end up breaking uh, on this Bluetooth speaker. And the second issue that I have is that uh, this little, you know, raised panel right here gets in the way of the power switch and also the uh, USB uh, OTG port right there. So when you actually go to plug something in, it 
it's, it doesn't plug in, you know, all the way. It's like 95% in there. Um, so this panel right here is the second issue that I have with this Bluetooth speaker. So now we're gonna check out how to use the wired connection. So I'm just gonna plug in the uh, OTG cable right here. I'm gonna plug in the uh, 3.5 millimeter jack to my phone and I'm going to change the, uh, the power, ah, I'm gonna move the power switch to the uh, position labeled aux in. And now, oh, this is like a mess. This is why I didn't want to deal with cables anymore. There we go. So now I should be able to open up my phone and play back that same song. All right, and that's exactly how it works. Okay, so that's A-OK. -okay. So setting up a wired audio device is also super easy. As far as charging goes, the speaker does not come with its own USB charger. You will have to provide one yourself. It does come with this cable that you can use to charge the speaker up, uh, and you can do that through a uh, any five volt source. So USB battery bank, the USB ports on your laptop or desktop, or heck, even the uh, USB port on your uh, phone charger, like iPhone charger, uh, or any phone charger in general that has a five volt USB port. So I'll just demonstrate that now. I'll plug it into my five volt source, which is this USB battery bank, and you can see the uh, orange charging indicator right here has lit up. Build quality is solid. This thing looks like, feels like, weighs almost as much and pretty much is a brick. I'll try to bend it right now. We're not getting any gift. This thing is freaking solid. It's a brick with a nice rubberized finish. It does have uh, this, you know, these nice little textured squares all over the place. And at first I was like, wow, they shouldn't have done that because that probably could have cut down manufacturing costs a little bit. But you know, after I used it for a little bit, it's actually really convenient. It uh, gives you an extra reassurance that it's not slipping out of your hand. So uh, these little square, I, I guess extrusions really do help when you're trying to pick it up and uh, carry it somewhere else. And you know what? Let's do a drop test. Let's do a drop test. And it's fine. <laughs> So that's really all I have to say about these Bluetooth speakers. I mean, you're getting a great bang for your buck. You're getting a heck of a lot of sound and the uh, sound coming out of them is actually pretty decent. That That is going to be the end of this little review. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment in the comment section. This was my first review on a, Blue, a Bluetooth speaker. So this was kind of weird for me. Uh, I was trying to figure out, you know, what I should talk about, what exactly I should bring up. So if I, uh, you know, uh, missed something and forgot to talk about it and I should have talked about it, please, please tell me in the comments section. And also if I, you know, rambled on a little bit too long about something that didn't really matter, please, you know, let me know in the comments section as well. If you like this video, don't forget to like, uh, drop a like on this video. Um, if you didn't like this video, please tell me why. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can support my YouTube channel by using my Amazon affiliate links and eBay affiliate links, both of which will be in the description. Uh, I also have a Patreon. So if you want to check that out, the link for that will be in the description as well and in a couple days i will have the uh whole write, written up article up for uh this bluetooth speaker so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys in the next installment of aa computers and technology